All right. So, I'm back. I am now at the church. I'm about to eat my little, I wish I had some rice. You know, right next door makes rice. But the thing is, is that they rice is hard. I don't know why they must be don't cook it long enough. Because I'm about to go in right now. So I got me my garlic knots. I got me some chicken, mild chicken, mm, wings. And here go my sauce. I don't know what sauce it says. Oh, this is tomato sauce, so I don't know what to dip that in. And I have this sauce. I'm thinking this sauce is for the, for the chicken. I'm gonna put this sauce over here. So I'm gonna talk a little bit. As y'all say, you always talk. Yes, I am. Thank God for you that listen because nobody else does. Nobody else does. So thank you for listening. So we're just going to bring this up. Oops. We're going to bring this over some soda. So. So. God is great and God is good and I thank you for my food. By your hand I must be fed. Give me Lord my daily bread. Bless the hand that lay in the hand that prepared in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. I don't think I bought no water. But. I really should be charging my phone instead of the headphones, right? I cannot let these go too long. So, I got rid of a lot of them. Let me show you. You'll see my previous video where I um was folding up. Wow, this one sits up where I was folding them. I was folding the um. I was folding up the flyer and I was folding up the letter. So Gave them all out. I think I got maybe five or ten. I'm gonna say five, give or take. That's why. I went in for an inch house. Lord let me. So. I didn't pass too many. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. The street is full of people, yet and still, people is really keeping their social distance. They're not getting all up on you. They're not in the crowd. So,
Mm. Yeah, hot is better than that. Mm. Probably because oh, I found one soft one. Yeah, it's a soft one. Compared to this, see how hard that is? So now, some, a few people, I gave, gave it to them in their hand. On the train, I gave them out on the platform at um, Fulton Street. I waited until I got Fulton and then until I got in Brooklyn. And then I um, went to Euclid. And um, gave him out. There was a young girl in front of me. And my spirit telling me to give it to her. She got right here to the corner. I'm picking and whatever, whatever that street is before you hit Euclid. And she turned. And when she turned, she turned around and looked at me. Yeah. She was like walking slow. I was like, it was like in my spirit, give her one, go give her one. Go walk to you. And she probably the one that the Lord was going to have come. I'm sorry, Lord. Bring somebody in her place. You can bring her. Maybe I was fountain. Yeah, maybe it was fountain. And she turned down. I'm not walking to you for I don't think. If I do. Well, I have to remember that to look for the name of that street. But, um, so I let one of the vandals know I was going to come here by five o'clock. Just read our texts. I think that'll be better. Okay, so the first text she texted me was yesterday at 616. And the last text that she that we talked on was August 30th. That was a Sunday. Then I told her when I got home Sunday, I texted her and I got home. Text back and said, Okay. Then I text her Saturday. Hmm. That was Sunday before Saturday. August 3rd. Oh, so this must be the Saturday pass. Hmm. Yeah. And I text her if she didn't have to buy the whole 12 or 10 bags. All you have to do is buy the bags that was used. So she only used two two bags in the back. Just a reminder. She takes back and says, yes, I know. Explanation point. <clears throat> so. I wrote great. And then yesterday, she texted me to ask me, are you going to have the flyers tomorrow so I can stuff the envelope? I said, Cheryl was supposed to give out the flyers. She said it was her last time, so you have to get from her. She said, okay. So that was yesterday at 6.16. So I asked her, are you at the church? 
today at 2 11. I asked y'all, you at the church? I'm still coming, but I'll be there by five. I know it's easy saying, all right, ain't no five o'clock. I said, did you get your copies? Are you an elder going out this time? Didn't hear nothing from neither of you. She ain't answering. Oh, the only thing she said was, no, Cheryl had to go to the hospital. And I wrote, oh my, is she all right? She ain't answering me back yet. So, I don't know what's going on with her. But, hey, what can I say? That's why I um, And I got to her. Making it seem like I'm scaring off everybody. You no? Know? I ain't saying nothing. I'm gonna have to read the seven. She's gonna come to me. She's gonna either text me Friday. I mean Saturday. Or she's gonna text me. Or she's gonna text me Saturday. No, most likely be Friday. Asking me. Mm -mm. She's gonna text me Saturday. Or she's gonna wait till Sunday when she see me to ask me. Do I want her to be serving? I'm going to say, no, 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 I got it, I got it. It's okay. I said, don't worry, I won't. No, I'm not going to even say no. I was going to say, don't worry, I won't ask somebody to do nothing no more for me. But I ain't going to say that because it seems like I'm starting trouble. So... I learned something today. And if I had been obedient, I wouldn't have got caught up in it. This is what I'm doing from now. If somebody call, especially, I keep seeing movement. We got a fish tank in the bottom of the tray. I am um, not gonna answer my phone. No more on the phone gossiping. With nobody. Cause I learned today that people use people cause they know who I'll talk to and who I won't talk to. So they know me and this person ain't talking. So they'll get this person to talk. And once I start talking to this person, then they start talking to the person. And then the person will tell them my plans and what I'm planning on doing. That's why I heard. And then that's how things get shut down. People used to tell me, oh, this person is talking to this person. And this person is talking to this person. Because I'll be like, I don't know how. This when that happen. And they be like, one time, let me finish that. And they be like, well, that person said this. Yeah, right mm. 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 That person said this. Yeah. And that person said that. Yeah. And they would talk to me and say, don't say nothing to this person. You know? And when I'm talking to this person, this person, don't talk to me. When I'm talking to this person, this person don't talk to me. This person got a whole lot to say against this person. And when this person called me, 
that person got a whole lot to say against this person. So now they got me in the middle. Telling me this and telling me that about the person. I may say my truth on the person. Now they may go back and tell the person. And now the person acting and different with me. So now they find it out that, oh, Vanna Jordan done ran her mouth, done went back running her mouth. So, today, I got hurt. And went to my feelings, but it didn't go to my heart. Because, it's like I said, I'm in the church right now. Downstairs in the, in the fellowship hall. And those who know my videos never saw this, this set up in my house. So, I don't want to take this chicken back. I'm going to sit here and try to eat up all this chicken. Because I don't want to take it back home. I don't want to carry it. So, I'm supposed to meet somebody here. We're supposed to go in here, we're supposed to go in there. It started out that we was going to meet at Grand Avenue and walk all the way back to the church. Then they said, oh no. Maybe don't come out early. I, I'm trying to keep you from being there during the rush with all them people. A lie. I want to slap myself with my eyes open today. A total lie. And I shouldn't have knew it because they never said nothing to me about coming out. Not coming out due to the fact of a lot of people being on the train. When they, when they got to that part, they went real low. I don't want you to be out there with people. So I'm stopping, I'm thinking. Because I was coming out yesterday. Being that I'm here today by myself, I could have came yesterday. You said, you still going out? Saturday, they called me. And I was like, I said, yeah, I'm going on Monday. He said, well, you know, Monday's a holiday. And you know what? It came to me. What does the holiday got to do with me giving out tracks? I ain't got to come to the pantry. And that would have been the best time because I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been interfering with no pantry. They used her to try to stop me from doing what I needed to do. So I said, no, I ain't coming. And she was like, all right, we can meet up. No, she was like, no, don't come. I'm just saying don't come because I'm trying to keep you from all that trouble. Oh, girl. And then we gonna come in the early morning then change it and say, uh, maybe we can meet up. What time you wanna go? She know I come in early. You wanna go between 10 and 12? So I wasn't even thinking about time because the time I had in my head was the time I went yesterday. <clears throat> yesterday, the time I went last time. Oh, well, I forgot I got aluminum for you, so I can wrap this up in aluminum for you. So I found a way to take it home because I just didn't want to take it in this.
ต้องต้องไอ้เจ้าหนูที่เบียดเจ้าคนทุกคนโอ้ยไอ้ก็อ้อมเมื่อไหร่ Oh, you right. This is me talking. Oh, right. What time you want to come? Uh, she said 10 to 12, 12 to 3, or 3 to 6. Three hours to give out, even though it won't take that long to give out now. So, I said, oh, three, three in the afternoon is good. Okay, so we'll meet up. So what I'll do, I'll go to the train, and we both be waiting for the truck. Go to the train, go to the train, that early part, and then I'll be there. So where they think you're not coming, they'll see you show up. Dumb me. supposed to be I'm not even thinking about what they thinking if they don't think I'm gonna show up that's they been there but she thinking that way because that's the intention to make them think that I'm not coming because they don't see me hmm I think I'm all right I'll come near. By that time, I'll need my stupid self going right along with her. Yeah, you're right. They won't think I came. Mm, so this is a good way to let them know I did So, I fell for that and got the text today that she wasn't staying. So I don't know when she stayed. How long she stayed? When she left? I had to, good thing I didn't go because my daughter needed, needed to use my Metro car right quick. So, I, um, that kept me there for about, in the house an extra 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe an extra hour, I don't know. So, we went. And I didn't catch it until, oh, it was 3%. It was 60%, my headphones. My headphones is 60%. My charging part is 96%. I need the headphones to charge up. So now, once I got the text, I was like, oh my goodness, I just been had. Then it started coming to me, that is the reason why she wanted to change the hours so that she wouldn't come there during the hours, during the time of pantry time because they already don't want it done. Cause who's to say, maybe if I had a show up, maybe somebody would have went with me. Maybe Olin would have went with me. That's how you But, since, Aaron since she knew that. So she's gonna keep me from coming. I'm just thinking 
talking from my thoughts, not from what I know. So, don't quote me on it. And I can't quote myself on it because I didn't see it. And I can't quote nobody else on it because they didn't say it. So this is just my opinion. I should I say my thoughts. I don't know why they give me this sauce. This tomato sauce. To calm down the, the, the hot to it. So. Now. I feel my better. Now. I'm sitting there. I said, wow. This is why this was done. Why this was said. Why these particular things were being said. I said, wow. I was, once it, I started replaying it in my head. I said, I just got had. And once I reminisce and went through it in my head, the spirit came with a banger. This is why you need to stop gossiping and talking on the phone. Now my gossip be facts. The person do this, the person do that. My gossip is based on exactly, well not based on, it's just like my videos. So when you run through my videos, of certain topics that I may say, uh, certain videos you come across where say I'm venting, or I may have one that say, excuse me, church talk or something like that. It's, it's things like this that I'll be talking about. So it's God's been about the truth. And the Bible say don't be a, it be, I think it speaks on gossiping. But it, it also, I think the main thing it says is busybodies, being busybodies, and other men, and other men's affairs. Trying to see if I can find the scripture. Second Thessalonians 3 and 11 says, For we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busybodies. So I'm not a busybody. I ain't, I ain't always going from place to place, maybe jumping from different churches, or maybe even want to be in everything. Because I want to know everything. Now, I'm honestly, I'm honestly nosy. Oh, yes, I am. I'm nosy. Uh, but maybe we could put the word exquisite or something like that. Curious. Curious to learn. Want to know things. Stuff like that. But I ain't too much want to know nobody's business. If is something going on about somebody and I want to know about them I call them on myself like for instance I got throw this out there there was a sister and the rumor was going around about the sister had got hurt and got ran over by a bus and this was going on with a lady I'm thinking about a bus you got ran over by a bus Lord Jesus so everybody's saying it's this, and everybody's saying it's that, and everybody's saying it's the other, right? I called the person up personally. And when she got on the phone, I said to her, I said, well, you know what? How you doing? I'm fine. How you doing, evangelist? That's the person said to me. I said, I'm fine. How you doing? Well, I'm holding on. Thank the Lord. Thank I said, so you know, I said, that's good. I said, and... A lot of things is being said. I said, but what happened? I said, I'm going straight to the horses, straight to the source so I can hear from the horse's mouth. 
what happened. So that person told me what what was going on and what had happened, right? And being that nobody could, did not know how she got ran over by the bus. And it is still kind of misunderstanding, no, not misunderstanding, hard to understand, but I eventually, I'm not gonna say I eventually nothing. The Lord eventually opened up my understanding to it so that I understood what happened. A foot was on the brake, however it was, there's a hill and the bus started rolling down the hill. And being that her foot was on the brake, but you know, it wasn't shut off. She slipped and fell and the, it ran over the legs. So that's what I said. The Lord opened up my understanding to it. So now he didn't reveal it to me. Revealing something is in reference to something that you don't know or you don't have knowledge to or you don't got the full understanding of it. And it don't have nothing to do with looking up in a dictionary or somebody telling it to you. It's a revelation from the Lord. Okay. And you can still get things from people as well. So now, with that being said, this busy body, so to say, for we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busy bodies. So just read that scripture. That's Second Thessalonians 3 and 11. But I, I'm, I'm told, I want to see, I want to see the one, what did I say? Gossip. Let's see what the gossip talk about. Because I, I thought I read that in the Bible though. Okay, let's see if we got any scripture on gossip. Gossip and slam. Eight types of gossip and what the Bible says about gossip. Gossip is like a secret craving. Hold up. Let me put that in my... Just me. Okay, let me see. Do we have any? James 4 and 11 tells us straight. Brothers do not slander one another. Stop. James 1 and 5. Any of you like what you like when you get some Oh, without finding for it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be asking for it. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Where you go? Oh, come on. Come on. How we get here? Wait, wait, wait. Proverbs 26 and 20. Let me go to the Bible. As they say, let's go to the videotape. Let's go to the Bible on this one. Proverbs, Proverbs, what? Proverbs 26. Proverbs 26. 26, 20. Till 2, 22. Okay, let's see. 20. Where no wood is, there the fire goes out. So where there is no tail barrier, the strife ceases. As goals are to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a continuous man to kindle strife. Lord Jesus. The words of a tail bearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Wow. Let me highlight this. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna hide this one. It says, "Burning lips and a weakened heart are like a postured, covered with silver dross." All right, let me just look it up in the Bible. Gossip. 
do. It's not, you don't even have anything on God's side. So it's not in the Bible then. Romans, the sense of enough to know. They are gossip with slanders. Okay, here we go. Romans 1, 28, <coughs> excuse me, to 31. Romans 1, 28 to 31. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Let's see. Let's see what a reprobate mind is. Paul clearly portrays the inevitable downward spiral into sin. First, people reject God. Next, they make up their own ideas of what a God should be and do. Then they fail in every kind of weakness. Sexual sin, greed, hatred, envy, murder, fighting, lying, bitterness, and gossip. Finally, they grow to hate God and encourage others to do so. God does not cause this steady progressive progression towards evil. Rather, when people reject him, he allows them to live as they choose. God gives them over to, gives them over to, or permits them to experience the natural consequences of their sin. Once caught in the downward spiral, no one can pull himself or herself out. Sinners must trust Christ alone to deliver them from destruction. Still not getting too much of the gossip. I got three pieces of chicken left. I think it's like nine. So let's see what other I got no gossip. Let me go back. So they said 18th of Romans on. Let me do uh, I'll tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. 12 and 33, they know people talk about the mind. The brother of S. Fist, the pain of the day, and he brings it up. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Wow. They say, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy towards all people. Well, since I can't find the, the gossip. Okay, so this is a hundred. This is 73, so let me charge 10. So let me need one more, and we're gonna go upstairs and do our work, and then, cause I thank goodness I gave the tracks out first. So now, that's what the Lord told me. Now, you gonna stop gossiping and stay off that phone. I say, yes, Lord. From now on, people call my phone. There ain't no reason for me to answer because I already know what you're talking about. So, I'm going to work on that one starting the day. Because I tried to call a person that was supposed to meet me. And they, they didn't answer me. I texted them. And I said, let me go to their text. 
Says sorry, not going to be able to stay. I said no. Question mark. Oh, what happened? Then I ain't get no answer. So I asked him, was there a particular person there? They said yes. He said sorry. Says yes. Oh, she said I must have pulled my back. Oh, I didn't even see that. I must have. Been. Then I wrote her. Did she get her copies? And I said never mind. It's not for you to ask. I'll text her. I like I'm not sending no third party to ask no questions for me. I'm gonna be direct to the person. So that way I ain't gotta say. Oh, I'm telling someone so to ask you. Did you do this or did you get there? Well, I ain't getting no answer. Pulls your back doing what? What? Maybe you did. Okay, so let me just go and get some aluminum for you. Hopefully, I can get it. Because they got it locked up. And I guess these two pieces of chicken, I'm going to have to sit down here and stuff that down. But I'm gonna get some, some um, aluminum too. Be right back. I'm glad I bought my sweater because it's going to be crazy cold out there. Look, just that quick, 100. So we're gonna take that out. Remember it was 70. Oh. And make sure. Yep, it is charged up. Come on, we're going in the bathroom. In the bathroom. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Go for some right now. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I'm like, Lord Jesus, you got to help me, Lord. But that, that, the Lord know how to do it. I'm telling you, he knows 
how to do it. Why can't I find what I'm looking for? Right there. And I hope I took it out. Yes, I did. And I'm like, uh, everything gonna be closed. I had to go across the street and get something. That man was closing. So, let's see. This is water. They probably took too much. Yeah, it is soap. It's soap, but it's liquid. In. They need to let me be the one that gets the soap and stuff. Let me see. Let me see. Let I love farm meal. I love farm meal. Traveling too far. So I'm able to brush my teeth when ever I should. Or uh, at that particular time. I'm going to go upstairs and do that work. It's probably going to be about an hour. Let me see. It's a quarter to nine, so let's... I'll stay here till a quarter to ten. The train's cut down at one. And this is what I was saying about them when they did the shut-in. If they had to did the shut-in, I started the shut-in at um, eight o'clock. I could have stayed from eight to ten. And left out 10, 11, 12. I would have got into the Brooklyn side at 12 o'clock because you on a train. So the train shuts down, down at 1. So I don't think they'll shut you out. You already on the train. So, okay, let's go upstairs. They, oh, by the way, they didn't have no aluminum for you. So I ain't eating no more food. So them two, them two, what's the faces? Those two, let me show you what's left. Can you see? Those two left. So they gonna want to go in the garbage. Cause I don't want to. See if we can. We ain't gonna be able to wrap up. Throw the sauce away. Throw this away. And put it in here. 
So I didn't really look and see what was, when I say what was in the bag, but. All right, let me see if I can. So you know how it is when you finish eating, you ready to eat in the bag, right? Alright, so we're gonna cook this. We're gonna cook this. I got my sweats on. This bag is a little bit better than the last one because it has like a way you can solid it down. That other bag be falling. All right, so let's take this. Go to the bathroom. Oh, that's a fish tank. See the fish tank? All right. Got my belly full. So now we're going to go for work. And I really don't want to come back here Saturday. So let me see how I'm gonna do this. It's hot up here. Oh my goodness. And when we was up here before, we had the, the window. I mean the window. We had the air on. The d door open. So we can... Let me see. Let's put that there. Let's see the things. All right. So, I'm going to take this. Oh. 
person I saw was always was bored. They, they don't know I'm the one who said it. She's the only one that know it. Over here. I think I'll put some stuff in here. I think I'll put some stuff in here. Let me see. Oh, I'll put a bag in here. Alright. So I was gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this. But we won't mess with that. Let's see. Here goes some tape. Got some tape. Let's see, I might have some of my um some of my programs. Let me put my programs in here. back here. I am so normal. This is where my nosiness comes in. Mother magazine. Then the the pastor lover to the Pentecostal West the altar prayer to my dearest church family. I was indeed overwhelmed and deeply touched for your concern and great generous gift of love. You have given me family, my deep, deep lords. You have given my family, my deep, deep lords. If only of my only daughter, your kindness and love and gifts and peace never forget. Oh. Your kindness and love and gifts I shall never forget. Again, thank you much. I will always remember you and the entire church. This is 2016. 2016, really. You're, then there are people like you who do all those things and more. Okay, here we go. People come into our lives for all sorts of reasons. Some teach us life lessons we never forget. Some nurture us and help us become better people. Some simply love us with all their hearts. Then there are people like you who do all those things and more. Thanks for all you do. I don't know who this is, Maxine. Mother Maxine. But this is 10 16, 2016. Oh, wow. I just learned something. Okay, let's keep that to ourselves. I did something. Exercise goal achieved. You reach your exercise goal. Excellent work. Trust me, I wasn't even excited. This is coming together in unity, 2018. This was our convention. It was at September 2nd, 2018, 11 o'clock a.m. Let's see what happened. Um, devotional leaders of Evangelist S. Jordan, Missionary E. Plummer, and Missionary P. McMillan. Ooh, I remember that one. That was after the big doozy. Okay. Convention Choir, Adult Mass, and Little Friends of Jesus. Bishop Dr. Wayne A. Spencer. This is Sunday. Oh, he preached that Sunday. Altar call, call to discipleship. The crazy they mean called to discipleship. What is that? Ordination? What is they got all these words? What, what the crazy? What is that? 
All right, so let's get to work. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I left anything. Let me not mess with that. That's the stuff. All right, let's get out stuff. Let's see what we got here. What we got here. Okay. Let me show you the things I bought, even though y'all was in the store with me. I'm going to show y'all the things anyway. Okay? Okay, so we got this. A personalized banner. So it got 68 letters, numbers 0 to 9, and 6 bells. Okay. I bought some of these stickers. So we're going to stick these stickers. I'm going to put them where they can be seen. Because I was told we can't even see them stickers. Now, I'm not even sure you can see these, but I bought only two packs. I should have bought four. Oh, no, it's, it's 24 stickers in here. I bought these. I bought these. And these are perfect for craft projects, home deco, and wearables. Great for kids and adults. So let's open it. Let's go, let's open it and I'm going to stick it right in this drawer because I'm going to take it all the way home. Let me see what it feels like. Oh, that'll work. It'll hold the glue good, too. And it's how many sheets? Two sheets. So I think I bought like six. And they only sheets? Oh, my God. So we're going to have to keep that green. I thought they was a little, I don't know why I thought they was bigger. Mm. But this is kind of like the color. So I'm going to put one there, put one there, put one there, and put one there. I'll show y'all the board in a second. So I bought one, two. It might have covered one, two. No, I'm going to do it just like I said. I'm going to put them in the four corners. So it's two in each, so that's two, four, six, eight. I got some tape. I really need that tape. Dollar ninety nine. So let me put. Well, I guess I can do that. I got some stars. So I'm gonna stick them. So I was thinking that they would have went on here. They would have went on here. You know. But I I got it in my head. I'm gonna do it. And look what else I got. I got a fork. So this is orange, I thought it was pink. So it's a cross, so that can go maybe in the middle. I'll see. And then we have the little, it says a form cross kit. Oh, so I guess you got the cross and you put these little things on it. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a magnet. I'm presuming that's a magnet. I don't know what it is, I need to open it up. I got that, and I got the, the little tacks. I was preparing. I got another bag. Okay, that's in here. Okay. Okay, I got some glue. And I got a stapler. Because I was like, oh... I left, I walked down and left my bag that had all the products in it. The glue, the scissors. Ooh. I ain't bring no scissors. So we gonna be, well, you know what? Everything I got here don't need to be cut. Tell me God ain't good. I ain't buy nothing. That's why he ain't let me find that paper. Cause I'm looking for that paper. Well, let me turn it around and let you see. Okay, I bought some staples. I bought staples. So I was like, okay, I left my glue, I got staples. Forgot about the, the scissor, but I don't even think I'm gonna need no scissor. And I got this. No, nah, that's for my phone. Maybe I can use that, let me see, let me fix it. I don't wanna put it on the back of that one, I should've bought two. Okay, so now let me show you the board. This is what I got on. I want to see what I got on. I got on white black. Okay, so I'm going to show you the board. Look at the board. 
So let me, it says, Jesus welcomes you. That's kind of tacky because it was a moment that I'm, something that came to me. Well, I left a flyer. I'm going to have to put a flyer when I come tomorrow. I'll bring a flyer and put up here. So I'm going to leave that one on so I know to work over. That was the colors last month. That's why this is green. So I uh, say I couldn't find no, I'm just remember I don't have the scissors. So that's why I was saying, see, I was looking for this paper. And if you remember, I was like, oh, when I showed you the little red thing, the long thing, that was wrapping paper or something. And this I think is wrapping paper, but you know, this is kind of nice, right? So I should just, I'm gonna leave this up. And I was thinking about, since I got one open, let me show you. I was thinking about putting this on the corners and decorate it. Like here. This ain't going, that welcome is not going to be there. Okay. So now, let's just take, and I was going to put the stars, the stars. I was going to put them on the, the, um, pink cloth because I want to put some kind of pink up in here or some kind of red up in here because that's the color I'm, that's the color I'll be wearing I don't know what anybody else wearing don't make me no different so all right so let, let's open up the main thing I was trying to find a welcome because I wanted to do Oh, it says contains four of each. A E A E F I is four A's. For okay, you got six bells and you got one of each. So we only got one Q, one X, and one numbers one through nine. We got two B's, J K M P U X. So that's good. So what? Jesus welcomes you, right? So maybe we can read the Jesus. Maybe, you know. Because see, they got it here. Where you can do three. So if it's three, I can do the same. I can make it out in three. Just like I got the Jesus welcomes you. Because somebody said that particular time. See, this is why I love the Lord. He knows just how to make things workable. So I should have left a scissor in here. And the scissors home. I'm going to bring one tomorrow. And put it in here. Because this has to be the desk I work with. Because I can't get it nowhere else. So I'm blocked out. Blocked out. And somebody was telling me, but well, everybody is supposed to have a key. I told them straight forward, I ain't everybody. I'm an evangelist. And I done been in that, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pull a card. I done been in this church for so long, and I don't have nothing. I'm not a priority of this church. I'm, I'm treated just like I, just like I'm a member. So you shouldn't have gave me the title evangelist, because even though I got the evangelist, I'm still treated as a member. I'm to get a better lighting. <laughs> Yeah, all the way around, so. Yeah, so, um, well, I'm gonna hurry up because the stock, what time is it? Nine? Okay, yeah, ten. I was opening this to kind of get me a cut it. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Opens this way. It says stationary. Oh, I guess you use this. I don't want to make it look There's a knife. I don't feel like going all the way downstairs to my knife to get my knife.
Okay. Oh, so we opened the gift shop. There we go. We could have went out, but we don't know what to do. So, I was opening it. Wait, I'm going to put the gift card. The gift card going in. But we. So as I was saying, I've been in this church. I've been in not this particular church, but in the Pentecostal Rescue House of Prayer for the past all my life. Let me put it that way. All my life. All my life. I've been. They say everything is in here. I show her stuff. Because I do not feel like coming out here. And if I gotta come out, I'm gonna come out tomorrow. Okay, so this is the letters. He said everything is in here. Ain't nothing in here. Lord Jesus. Let me see. It says direction. It don't say nothing about the the text. Arrange letters to create your message. All right, hold on. See the things? See the holes? But ain't no text. He said everything is in here. Ain't nothing in here. Oh, I'm going to have to come back. Well, not necessarily. Maybe I could staple it. Oh, they got a lot of letters here. I can't believe this. I asked the man. He said everything is inside. Maybe it's supposed to be inside, but they forgot to give it to me. All right, let me see. Arrange letters to create your message. Fasten letters by pushing one plastic fastener through the hole. They just got the hole. We ain't got no fasteners. Cause I was thinking maybe they on the side or something. See? There's no friend. They know there's no string. Lord Jesus. So what I'm gonna have to do is be creative. Let me take a picture. Let me show y'all. Wow. Let me just 